Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today and spending the next 20 minutes with us to learn about how we are simplifying hybrid networking and services for our customers in Google Cloud. The goal of this session is to walk you through some key fundamentals of how we are enhancing networking to make it easy for you to build hybrid networks while connecting GCP to on-prem and other clouds. We will talk about how we are enabling our customers to build, consume, and deliver services to their customers with new networking innovations, and how this model enables the zero trust security paradigm. I am Nikhil Kjalshikar, Director of Product Management in Cloud Networking, responsible for enterprise networking and Kubernetes networking. And joining us as well today is Brian Rogan. Brian? Hi, I'm Brian Rogan. Uh, I'm an engineering director at Google Cloud and a longtime Googler. I've worked on building the Google backbone and the services that allow people to access Google from all over the world. Uh, over the last few years, I've been really excited to take those, those services and infrastructure and expose them to our cloud customers. Thank you, Brian. And with that, let's get right into it. As our customers move to the cloud, and build new cloud native applications. Customers have to build cloud networks to meet application scale, security, and reach. This requires a new type of networking engineer, someone who is able to understand the cloud networking paradigm and design networks which are fundamentally software defined. Additionally, these networks also need to interoperate with the networks as they are built today. This design shift creates a new challenge for customers. There are two clear patterns based on the goals of the business. First, traditional enterprises. Traditional enterprises have well-established network design patterns and are often moving applications to the cloud. This requires mapping the cloud network to a complex existing network to provide an on-ramp to the cloud from branches, uh, data centers, and perhaps even connecting across multiple clouds as well. Often what this results in is a parallel network core for cloud connectivity. Security is complicated as there are different internal policies governing cloud, on-prem, and user workloads. And there is a lack of consistency in these policies. This is often a hurdle for moving applications to the cloud and getting the right business results. Secondly are the digital natives. Digital natives are organizations which have started their journey in the cloud and are building new applications based on native cloud primitives. Here, they are looking to enable a multi-cloud framework, adopting service meshes and Kubernetes. They're delivering applications from the cloud globally. Critical challenges here are to enable scale, security, and consistency. Our goal is to remove any hurdles in this cloud journey by enabling a simple, secure, and scalable cloud network. To enable this, our main goal and vision for hybrid networking and security is to connect our customers and your users to workloads in any cloud or on-prem location with a consistent experience that is easy to secure and manage. Let's dive deeper into this. Connect refers to our investments in making connectivity simple and pervasive. Build capacity, scale, and performance where you need it. We want to enable reachability and security for all workloads and all services your business needs irrespective of where they are, where they reside, on-prem, Google Cloud, or any other cloud. A consistent management and operations experience is needed if we are to simplify and help customers adopt multi-cloud. And last but not the least, security is paramount. We want to enable our customers to adopt a zero trust model. To do this, let's start with the network itself. The Google network is the cloud network. This is the backbone which supports global traffic for Google search, maps, and YouTube, and all of the other Google services we use. And this has been growing phenomenally to meet the needs of the entire world as well as the need of our cloud customers. We have heavily invested in this network and continue to invest to build the lowest latency, highest performance, reliable global network. This has now expanded to over 27 regions worldwide with 146 edge pops and continues to grow. 
Additionally, we also continue to invest in our undersea subsea cables to grow capacity and the reach of the network. Coupled with our edge nodes for media delivery and distribution, this helps expand our customer's reach to, you know, able to be able to reach their own customers. Google's global network is your network and is a key differentiator of the GCP service. In the cloud, however, the complexity of the transport network is completely abstracted away from our customers. We want our networking to enable our customers' business and grow at the need of the business. This begins with meeting our customers where they are today by providing a complete network connectivity solution. Network Connectivity Center, or NCC from GCP, enables such a global connectivity model for all of hybrid network. We are working with you to enable migrating from IPs and pods to a service networking paradigm. Applications are built from services, and these services communicate with each other. This is the level of abstraction we want to provide to enable everything to run as a service. This implies providing you with a unified way to expose services across your hybrid environment, providing the right high-level policy controls and a complete end-to-end -end visibility. Once we have the network connectivity model and the consistent service networking framework, the path to zero trust is easier. One can build a secure perimeter within the cloud network and lock access to it at the edge. Services can be locked down with controls based on identity and tags to enable micro-segmentation. This is truly the essence of the model we are building towards. And now I would like to pass it to Brian to walk us through the technical building blocks of how we can enable this journey. Brian. Thanks, Nikhil. I'm really excited to talk a little bit more about what we're building and how the pieces come together into a unified architecture for hybrid applications and services. As Nikhil mentioned, it all starts with the network, which we build from the ground up. Once we come into the world of our cloud abstractions, the central virtual abstraction is NCC, or the Network Connectivity Center. NCC is like a Swiss army knife for connectivity. It allows you to bring together physical interconnects, SD-WANs, and VPNs into a single coherent model. Once you have connectivity through GCP, our focus is on providing you the tools that you need to secure the perimeter of that connectivity and make sure that you can make strong enterprise-wide guarantees about what can get in and out of your network. Things like VPC service controls let you control who can access your first-party Google services, like cloud storage or Bigtable, while IAP, firewall, and IDS allow you to determine who can get into your networks from outside. Layered on top of that, we're building a strong set of service networking products. These let your developers think in services. Instead of worrying about IP addresses and ports, they think about services in our service directory. Service Mesh can be configured with Traffic Director or Antho Service Mesh, providing you end-to-end -end authorization and identity. Finally, you can expose your services to the outside world easily and securely with PlanetScale via our global load balancer, CDN, and Cloud Armor products, all of which work seamlessly together to give your users the best experience consuming your applications wherever they are in the world. Wrapped around it all is a consistent view of what's happening with our, with our network and with these services through our Network Intelligence Center product. Let's dive a little bit deeper on the base. We're happy to announce the GF Network Connectivity Center, which allows you a simple and consistent way to connect together the different modes of connectivity that you have in your hybrid environment and bridge them onto your VPCs. It allows you to connect our physical interconnect products, which offer best-in-class reliability. We've been investing significantly over the last year to grow our reach and capacity. Today, we have customers scaling up to tens of terabits of interconnect to GCP, and we've launched 26 new locations in 2021. Our HA VPN also offers best-in-class reliability and is a key part of many of our customers' architectures. You can now use it standalone or on top of our interconnect product for additional security. We're adding integrations with your SD-WAN provider of choice. We've announced our partnership with Cisco, VMware, Versa, Fortinet, and Palo Alto and we intend to continue growing the set of options available to our customers. Moving up our stack, we're working hard to realize the vision of everything as a service. Our goal is to fundamentally up-level the networking experience, away from IP addresses, ports, and routing, and towards named services that your developers can easily connect to and authenticate against without having to understand all of that underlying infrastructure. 
At the core of this is Private Service Connect, which allows you to consume services that are managed by one VPC from another VPC with a simple producer-consumer model. You can register these services in our service directory to get an easy way to refer to them, and we'll soon do this for you automatically. Over the coming quarters, we'll be introducing new controls on services that are exposed with Private Service Connect that make it easy to determine which service accounts, VPCs, or identities can access them. Diving one level deeper on Private Service Connect, PSC allows you to consume services faster by letting consumer and producer VPCs be independent from one another, either across VPC boundaries or even across organizational boundaries. A service producer in one VPC can allow service attachments in another VPC to access that service as if it were published from within the original VPC without having to think at all about the underlying network configuration. PSC at layer four provides a local IP address and PSC at layer seven provides a load balancer backend within the consumer VPC. You don't need to worry about cross VPC connectivity, peering, IP address overlaps, or securing the perimeter. PSC handles all of this for you. For third-party services, we have a set of partner integrations launching soon, including MongoDB and Snowflake. This allows you to privately consume these services without traffic ever leaving a secure perimeter. For services you develop, PSC helps you decouple building a service from consuming that service and allows your development teams to iterate independently across a clean boundary, increasing their velocity. PSC today represents a meaningful security perimeter around the producer, and going forward, our intent is to produce an even richer set of controls. Finally, our load balancing and edge portfolio allows you to securely offer your applications to the world, regardless of where they originate. In Compute Engine, Kubernetes, Anthos, our first party managed services, or your hybrid or multi-cloud environment. Under a single URL space, you can build applications where the backends reside in any of these systems. This gives your customers a seamless experience, even when you're serving from a heterogeneous environment. These products all offer planet-scale delivery along with the reach and performance that you've come to expect from the Google network. They allow you to attach security policies, authentication, or caching to your services to build rich and distributed applications that reach every corner of the earth. Finally, our goal over the coming quarters is to help our customers move across the zero trust spectrum. Today, many people that we work with are on the left. They run network-based perimeter controls to control what traffic can come into their network, but they have a relatively open posture inside the network. We view the gold standard to be the right, end-to-end -end authentication at layer seven with a strong notion of identity orchestrated by Anthos Service Mesh or Traffic Director. This forms the core of the Google Beyond Prod vision. The key question that we are working through with our customers is how do we help get them there? What are the tools that they need to tighten their perimeters, move to much more service-centric connectivity and security models, and to lock down their services as much as is practicable for their environment? We're very excited to go on this journey with you together. Thank you, Brian. So the technology building blocks in the network are the tools. We are working to bring together all these technologies to solve three key problems we continually hear from our customers. First up, we enable a private enterprise service bus, which gives you simple and consistent network connectivity to connect together the services your organization uses and produces. We're enabling our customers to deliver applications via our global network with planet scale, secure perimeter controls. And thirdly, we enable our customers to build a security architecture for cloud workloads which provides a zero trust model for workloads and services while providing the choice of using native GCP first party services, as well as best in class security products from our third party partners itself. Bringing this all together, we want to highlight some key new launches and announcements which have happened in the past, uh, next or in the past few months. First up, Network Connectivity Center, NCC, is now generally available. Private Service Connect at L4 is generally available, and we also have a preview for Private Service Connect at Layer 7, as Brian mentioned. Encryption is key to our customers. Now, we are glad to announce that IPsec over Interconnect is now available as GA in many regions. Hybrid load balancing, which offers endpoints in GCP, as well as endpoints in on-prem and in other clouds is also available now. We have been investing phenomenally on the security front. 
One key new innovation is about Cloud Intrusion Detection System, IDS. We are delivering Cloud IDS with our partnership with Palo Alto, and this is now available in preview. We thank you very much for your time and hope that you can try some of these new innovations in GCP networking as we help you along on your cloud journey. Thank you.